invite you to this house not made by hands with men by the hands of God this house the prophets the apostles they desire so much that they put their life upon the chopping block they labored in prayer they labored in fasting they forsook everything that they might found this eternal house and all the children of God and all the world are invited to this house and we're going to sing this song in Kiswahili and therefore when I heard the voice of God calling me into this house I rejoiced gladly I look this house from every part, but I did not found it. I went to Catholic, I went to AIC, I went all over Pentecostal churches, but until I heard the voice within that house, my soul rejoiced and was glad. And that's why I want to testify unto you, all of you. We might go there. Amen. Twende, nyumbani mwa baba. Twende, nyumbani mwa baba. Twende, nyumbani mwa baba. Twende, nyumbani mwa baba. Twende sote, nyumbani mwa baba. Twende, nyumbani mwa baba. Twende, nyumbani mwa baba. Twende, nyumbani mwa baba. Una mani, nyumbani mwa baba. Twende, nyumbani mwa baba. Twende, nyumbani mwa baba. Twende, nyumbani mwa baba. Nilifurahia waliponiambia. Twende, nyumbani mwa baba. Nilifurahia waliponiambia. Twende, nyumbani mwa baba. Nilifurahia waliponiambia. Twende, nyumbani mwa baba. Mbani mababa Tende Mbani mababa Tisi sote Mbani mababa Tende Mbani mababa Mama yangu Mbani mababa Dugu yangu Mbani mababa Wewe dada Mbani mababa Tende Mbani mababa Kila mutu Mbani mababa Tumealikwa Mbani mababa Tende Mbani mababa Tende, mbani mwa baba, mia fura, mbani mwa baba. Tende, mbani mwa baba. Tende, mbani mwa baba. Tende, mbani mwa baba. This house, when Paul the apostle, the Lord revealed it unto him. He said, seeing this house, that having this other vessel that it shall be put off. We have an house that will not be put off. This house is eternal, is in heavenly place. Therefore, all of us, we are invited by the preaching of the gospel. Twende, mbani mwa baba. Twende, mbani mwa baba. Twende, mbani mwa baba. Oh, twende, mbani mwa baba. Una mani. Tende, mbani mwa baba. Alleluia. Mbani mwa baba. Alleluia. Mbani mwa baba. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We praise you, Lord. We thank you, Father, for your love that you bestowed upon us, O King of Glory. The love that you had for the whole world, O King of Glory, that made you even to send thy only begotten Son, Jesus Christ. That whomsoever believe in him might have everlasting life. Father, we thank you for this mercy and grace. That Lord, you've shown us this house. That all of us might desire, Lord, 
And we had to put all our mind, our soul, our heart in it, Lord. That, Lord, we might dwell with you. This heavenly house, King of glory, where there's no sorrow, there's no sickness, there's no trouble, there's peace, there's joy and righteousness in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. How we are so thankful, Lord God. We bless you for this house that all the people are invited by the preaching of the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. That this gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, whomsoever might believe that the Lord Jesus Christ might be able to attain this house. We thank you and we bless you for your love in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. We worship you, Lord. We bless your mighty name today. Lord, that you might have your own way in this service, King of glory. Overshadow thy people with the power of the Holy Ghost. Let it please you, Father, that you're going to open their eyes to see, their ears to hear, and their heart to perceive. Let the Spirit of the Lord move on each one of them, Heavenly Father. Let them, Lord, draw nigh unto thee as you draw nigh unto them. And let the pool of the love of God be so great and mighty in their lives that they're going to obey the gospel as he's preached unto them. I ask you, Lord, to quicken also the preacher right now by the word and by the Spirit that is upon him that the word of God may have a free course in him. To the glory of God in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Praise God. You will have control over your life once you take charge of your mind. The Bible says, be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is that good, and acceptable and perfect will of God. Praise the name of Jesus. There is a mind that we need for us to walk with God and to be in favor with God and with man. The beasts in the forests often take charge of their lives. You may not know this and would have none of them actually rule over them mentally. Praise the Lord. The lion, or so-called king of the jungle, is not the biggest of all the animals in the forest or in the jungle. But he rules others because of the strength that he, he got in his mind. Praise the Lord. But look at how the animals operate in the, in the forests. Stung by a sharp thorn, the lioness cannot call her husband to come and pluck it out of her foot or the thorn out of the foot. It will take charge and remove it her own way. She has no need of a physician like the docile cow do. Praise the Lord. A hat in a pant of thirst will run miles and miles down the hills seeking water until she finds it, yet without the help of any man. Praise the Lord. You will never hear a wadok drowning in the river because it had gone swimming with its children. Yet we hear of uh, human beings or men drowning every day if not in the sea, it is in the rivers. Kind of animals, and almost always, are subject to the law of God. I think because they got a mind that was made to be subject or in obedience. A dog knows to find a beach, yet a man knows not to find a woman. Amen. Why? 
The Bible says they didn't, he didn't want to retain God in their mind or in their knowledge. And because of, of this, God gave them over to a reprobate mind so that they can do things which are not convenient. Praise the Lord. And actually make God angry by those things which they do. But when man is left, or when man left the use of his mind, he needs a psychosocial support. He needs help. Praise the Lord. When he left the use of his mind, he goes crazy. He goes mad. He becomes anything even more than a beast. The Bible says, let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus, who counted it not robbery to be equal with God. But he made himself of no reputation, humbled himself, became a servant, and humbled himself unto death. Praise God. And being found in fashion as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. Wherefore God also has highly exalted him and given him a name that is higher than all other names, or above other names, that in the name of Jesus Christ every knee should bow and every tongue should confess. Praise God. Both in heaven and also upon this earth. Jesus had a mind of God in him. He's the mind that we need. You do not, we do not need the mind that we got. The mind that we got needs to be crucified. It's got to die. For the mind of Christ to indwell us. If you are asked today whether you needed the mind that you got, most of the time you would say you won't or you don't. If you did need it, most of you would not be in school now. You want something to make your mind sharper, to make your mind better and good. You want something to bring a change in your life. But until the mind change, or until we have a change of mind, our lives will be and will remain the same from this time and forever. We need the mind of Jesus. I'll be preaching in the next message on the crown of thorns. And God bless you. Amen.